We think he's going to set himself up and come back and roll inside, but he does go with a strong side shot. There it is. Goalie makes a great save. Look at his position. That's perfect position for a goalie to make a save on a low shot. I believe we have an unnecessary roughness call against Carolina, and that will put that will put Syracuse into a man-up situation for a minute. Syracuse able to run their man-up offense six on five for one minute. Parker Terra controlling for Syracuse. Gets it back out to Cummings, to Morrissey. Syracuse has uh, got a three-minute advantage in man-up offense uh, this half. Morrissey unable to scoop it up. It finally does. Morrissey, the left-handed shot on attack for Syracuse. Parker Terra's got a couple of goals today. Syracuse has scored man up this, this half, but they I don't know if they've scored off their man up offense. It's been in unsettled situations that have arisen as a result of uh, as a result of the man up as if you remember back to that when they picked off that pass last time and then came down. In front oh. shot knocked away by Brown. Great save. Brooks Brown. 5'11 junior. Looks like we had a push there. So uh, possession will go back to uh, Syracuse and they'll be continuing with their man up offense. We're down to 52 seconds left in the quarter. 13-10 Syracuse. Syracuse very patient as they've been since taking control of this game in the second quarter. No shot by Carcaterra. Bounced out a little too far. I think Carolina has done a real good job in their man down defense. Uh, if you remember back to the first half, Syracuse able in their man up offense to go boom, 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 pass shot. Carolina's taking that away from them. And we'll see if this will work to Carolina's favor as we move closer into the fourth quarter. Only a half a minute to go here in the third. And the Orange men with a three goal lead. I think we're all even right now. Six on six. Cummings, excuse me, Jackson turns and falls. Nice behind the back pass. Getting it up to their offensive end. That's the field. right job to get it upfield. Deering tries to track it down, but Smiley comes up with it. Long shot with eight seconds left in the period. A Smiley just fired. Well, he did what he had to do. That would have been one of the great passes in lacrosse history, Steve, if he had <laughs> been able to hit somebody on the crease from uh, his own restraining line. Of course, Smiley scored earlier, the big 6'6", 240-pound defenseman from upstate New York. Long pass down, Gephard grabs one second, and that'll do it. That's the end of the third quarter. The Syracuse Orange Men lead 13-10. We'll be back with exciting fourth quarter action right after this. Back at Rutgers Stadium, fourth quarter action underway. Carolina controlling. Carolina's showing a lot of heart here, Steve. They, you know, they uh, let Syracuse take it to them a little bit there in the second quarter and beginning of the third, and they've really woken up, and uh, they're... They're within striking distance. There's going to be a lot more lacrosse, a lot more scoring before this game's over. Meyer lost control, and Casey Powell picked it up. Again, slowing it down, allowing both teams to arrive on the field at full strength, getting set, and now they'll run their offense. Here comes a midfield change for Syracuse. Ryan Cummings, number seven, done a nice job for Syracuse, quietly effective in midfield. Syracuse can take their time. They lead 13-10. Yeah, I don't expect them to slow it up too much, Steve. They, they'll play deliberate, you know, half field lacrosse, uh, but they're going to take advantage of scoring opportunities, and they're certainly going to take advantage of unsettled situations. Matt Doyle passes it back to Casey Powell. Casey Powell, a preseason All-American, made the switch from attack to midfield. One of the quickest players in Division I lacrosse has a couple of goals here today for Syracuse. Working against the, the defense of Mitty Mike Meyer, number 19. Very deliberate. Well, Syracuse can use clock, 13-30. Four 15-minute quarters in college lacrosse. If it's tied, you go to the sudden death overtime periods of four minutes each. Again, a little bit of slipperiness down there at that end of the field. We'll see if that works in uh, North Carolina's favor this half. Marcy this trying to work through. Casey Powell. Syracuse has already eaten two minutes of the clock down, offensively down their end of the field. Powell with a pivot. 
Carcaterra loses control. Feed into the crease, and Syracuse does a nice... Uh, Knock back and into the goal for Syracuse! Uh oh, boy, I'll tell you. Off the stick on the attempted clear by John Fox, number 30. The ball was knocked back. You know, the gods of lacrosse are smiling on you when that happens because Syracuse did a nice job of feeding the ball on the crease. Carolina did an excellent job of closing on it and not allowing the shot to get off. There's the feed into the crease. They close, and the ball just gets checked out of his stick. And then right, it's Fox knocked number 30 had a Carcaterra 19, gets the goal. An opportunistic Paul Carcaterra with his third goal here today in a 14-10 Syracuse lead. Now here comes Caroline to answer back. Jude Collins with a low shot, and Gephardt comes up with it. Gephardt makes a stick side save and gets an outlet pass. Bill Dyer, the sports information lacrosse expert from Syracuse, was saying Gephardt has been one hot goalkeeper. He came up with a big 21 save effort against Army in the first round victory, 12-3 for Cuse. Today he's been very effective as well. When you when you can limit an opponent, Division One opponent, to three goals, you know that you've, you're playing great close defense and great goalie play. Ira Vanderpool fires to Kavavit, who slips it back, and the shot is wide. Again, Syracuse in position to back up the shot and maintain possession. 12-12 remaining. 14-10 Syracuse. Syracuse setting the pace for this game right now. Syracuse in control since it's an early second quarter, to be fair to say. Carolina once led 4-2 to two in the first quarter. Carolina did have the lead for most of the first quarter, although never stretched it beyond two goals. Uh, Syracuse really came on strong in the second quarter and has remained, uh, remained very strong out there throughout the course of this game. Jim Morrissey working, using up important clock here for Syracuse, number eight. 106 career goals, has a <laughs> stick knocked check. away and kicks it, and we got a whistle. That That's, uh, I, I think they're just gonna call uh, Syracuse for playing without a stick. So uh, possession goes over to Carolina. Certainly two of the three most dominant teams in the 1980s and 90s, along with Johns Hopkins, are Syracuse and Carolina. I'll tell you, Carolina's uh, lacrosse program really got on the map when Willie Scroggs, uh, who was an assistant, who had been an assistant at Johns Hopkins, came in as their head coach about oh, 15 years ago and uh, really put them on the map lacrosse-wise. Now that shot hit pipe. Penalty. Yeah, we have a push there, so it's gonna be a 30-second penalty. Uh, I believe that Mark Carolina Phillips. will be up for Carolina will be up for uh, for 30 seconds here. Phillips took that shot. It was pushed from, re from the rear. Probably would have scored had he not been pushed. So it might have been a, a kind of a smart thing to do defensively there for, for Syracuse. Phillips earlier scored his 29th goal of the year. His team trails 14-10, 10-59 to go in regulation. A lot of times these, these teams, uh, when they go man down, that you'll see, you know, in the, in the all even situations, they'll play man to man defense. Man down situations, obviously, they can't do that. So they go, they jump into a zone defense. And that's, and that's, zone. that's what uh, both these teams are doing today. Effective zone defenses certainly can offset that man down situation. Spencer Deering, Brendan Carey have been held pretty well in check on attack. Great. There's a goal for the Great Heels. Shot. Jason Wade. Wade with his third goal today. Great shot. That just, uh, you know, that was uh, not a close range shot, but it, it, it just had enough heat on it to beat the goalie quicker than he could move his stick. There's the pass down to Wade on the wing. Sanders feeding him in that left-handed hard shot. I'll tell you, I don't think he had much room there because goalie was on the pipe, Gephardt was on the pipe, and uh, I'll tell you, he squeezed it in. For a big man up goal. For Carolina, 14-11, 10 29 to go. This is still anybody's game, Steve. Plenty of time left. Now Syracuse comes down, unsettled situation. Al passes off. Brown looks for the ball. Almost rolled in the goal. He made the save and kind of got stuck in, you know, with his face mask and dropped and it almost rolled into the goal. Meyer moves it up for Carolina. That was big though. That was a big save for Carolina because that was that was uh, almost a sure goal for Syracuse there in that situation. 
Wade and Collins, the two opportunistic middies on the field for the Tar Heels. Collins almost lost control. Makes his move. Low shot. Low shot. Get part again, getting down low and, and stopping that low bounce shot. And Smiley will clear for Syracuse. Toby Price and company moving it up. Again, doing a great job with defenseman crossing the midline and then getting it to an attackman. Matt Doyle closes in on the crease. Close D. A cohort in front. Super save. Great job by Brown. Goes into the crease, so that possession is awarded to, uh, to, to uh, Carolina. And a big, big moment there for Brooks Brown. Carolina cannot afford to fall down any further in 14-11 here with 9.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. He's come up with some big saves, Steve, in the last uh, two or three minutes here to keep this uh, lead from growing any bigger. But this is trouble. Here's an right here. easy opportunity, possibly in front, and a goal! Matty Doyle! That's the second time Syracuse has picked off a Carolina pass and come back in an unsettled situation like that to score. And that'll just break your back. Goals like that will break your back. That gives them a 15-11 advantage now in the score. Syracuse on top. Take a look again. There's the ball picked off. And now it becomes two on one with one defender being the goalie. And he's just really at the mercy here of, of Syracuse. Again, it's, you know, get him to commit one way and just shoot to the open part of the goal. Matt Doyle, the junior attackman, with his 18th goal of the year, 15-11, nine minutes remaining. You're watching the NCAA quarterfinals, men's lacrosse division one on the Comcast Network. Steve Tober, Steve Schofi, Doug also from, from Rutgers Stadium. Syracuse again, controlling faceoff keeping the ball down their offensive end of the field. In close again, off the stick of Brown on the close-in shot by Andy Rodriguez. Great save there by Brown. We have a flag down, so it will be a penalty uh, against Carolina, which will put Syracuse up again, man up, and they have to have a huge advantage in man up time uh, Andy, this half. Andy Rodriguez, who took the shot there, transfer from Penn, was out all of last year after having knee surgery, but has come back to add depth to the Syracuse midfield. 8.38 to go, and we'll see here, I'm sure Steve Schofi, Syracuse using clock as much as possible. Right, well they're man up right now, so they're gonna run their man up offense. This is a very aggressive play by Carolina on man down. Usually you'll see them keep it packed in the box, but they know the score and they know the time is quickly uh, evaporating on them, so they have to get a little bit more aggressive than they normally would in this situation. Kavavid in front, shot over the net by Doyle. He does a nice job of making sure he doesn't jump in the crease there, too. Drew Collins gets it back to Brooks Brown. Carolina having a clear man down now. John Fox, the long stick, bringing it out for the heels. Fox in close, save by Gephardt. Not really the shot you want in that situation. Really not the guy you want taking it no. either, one of your defensemen. Transition favors Syracuse. Yeah, and that shot was, shot was right on stick side, kind of playing catch with the goalie there. Stopping that shot by Cummings, Brooks Brown. Both goalies have played well here. Okay, you see that Syracuse has a big advantage. Three and a half minutes in man-up time uh, for this half. And, uh, you know, that's big, especially if they're converting on those man-up. Gephardt with another situation. save on Sanders. And front goal from what a Syracuse. Pass. What great transition. What a pass. And the goal by Doug Jackson. A cross field pass out by the midline down to the opposite goal line extended. I'll tell you, that, that's just beautiful across. I don't know how you beat that. Look at, the, look at this pass, the length of it, the accuracy of it, it feeds it in, it's like a touchdown pass. And a great shot. Gorgeous the goal. upper left hand corner of the goal. Jackson with the tally to put Syracuse up 16-11. Starting to stretch it out now, Steve. Syracuse is starting to really dominate, and uh, and, Sir and not that Carolina can't answer back. Carolina, seven and a half minutes, and a lot of crazy things can happen in this game. 7.23 to go while we have a timeout. 16-11 Syracuse. We'll be back with more right after this. Back at Rutgers Stadium in Piscataway, Steve Tober, Steve Schofi, Doug also from 7.23 to go in the contest. 
And Syracuse with a fairly comfortable 16-11 lead. Starting to stretch it out a little bit, Steve. Their transition game has been deadly. And, uh, you know, Carolina has enough time, but they don't have too much time to waste. 49-48 on shots. Carolina with a one-shot edge, but trailing by five goals. Collins moves in front. Low shot. Saved by Gephardt. Stick side. Put it right to his stick. Carolina's shots, uh, the last few they've taken, haven't been particularly challenging uh, to a goalie. They've been fairly easy saves. Nice face dodge there. Good recovery by the Carolina defense. But Syracuse comes up with possession again. The Carolina with that clock against them. 6.50 to go. Trail by five, 16-11. Both these teams have played exceptional today. Uh, Syracuse, though, really does look to be a, a very dangerous team all over the field. The defending national champions defeated Maryland at Bird Stadium in College Park last year, 13-9 to win the NCAA title in front. Katia knocked aside. Had enough room there. Brown the is way out of the crease and is knocked out of bounds. Goalie <laughs> out of the crease with the ball on his stick is like a marked man, Steve. Whoa. Brooks Brown taking a good hit. Because they know that if they can get the ball on the ground and get possession of it and pass it back, there's nobody in the net. Cop of it knocking him down. Casey Powell working against Jason Wade, two of the better middies in the country. Number 22, Powell, number 43, Wade. Casey Pound, preseason All-American. Against, uh, against Syracuse being very deliberate in their, in their all-even offense here. The problem is some people have said, what do you put Powell in All-American at attack or midfield? He can play both. He's played both. Certainly one of their leading candidates for All-American honors from Syracuse. Good work of the clock here, Carcaterra. And Syracuse really doing a good job of eating time up. Morrissey loves the left hand. Morrissey leaves the Carolina defender on that wet turf. Now in front. Tremendous feed. Good Great a, second pass to the crease and just a missed, good idea uh, missed flag opportunity. Thrown. Flag down, stoppage of play. 5-14 to go in the fourth quarter. And it's going to be a uh, man-up situation again for Syracuse. 16-11, the Orange men lead the Carolina Tar Heels. Winner moves on to face the winner of the second game here today. Eighth seeded Towson State against top seeded number one Princeton. Collegiate lacrosse on the Comcast network from beautiful Rutgers Stadium in Piscataway. We have a one minute penalty here. It's on a slashing penalty called against Carolina. I want to thank Pete Kowalski, the sports information director from Rutgers, for helping sort things out here and making everything comfortable for us. And, uh, Great afternoon of lacrosse. Actually, that wasn't a slash. It was an illegal body check, but it result, it's the same result. It's a minute penalty. Mm. Syracuse up for a minute again. Again, opening up that big lead in uh, man up time. And it just seems, Steve Schofi, that Syracuse has spent most of the last three quarters in the Carolina end of the field. Absolutely. They've controlled the game uh, in, every, you know, in every important statistic, I guess. Ground balls, shots, time of possession. Man up uh, possessions, and now you can see they really are uh, they really are passing the ball around a lot, looking to eat time before they even attempt to score. Kavovic behind the net. He's the point man. He's the playmaker for Syracuse. Morrissey. They don't want to score with. Uh, they don't want to take a shot with you know 45 seconds left in a one minute penalty. They want to wait till 59 seconds elapsed. And There's then a front take shot, shot wide. By Jackson with 4.15 to go in the fourth quarter. Carolina's now back at full strength. So the Tar Heels survived that penalty, but the bad news for the Heels is they trail by five goals with 4.14 to play now, clock moving. Time is really becoming of the essence for Carolina. Casey Powell, good pass. Syracuse, very patient. Katia, 35. Looking to eat more clock. Looking at a five goal spread here with just under four minutes to go in the game. Syracuse will continue defense of the national title. They'll move on to the semis. Here's Powell with a shot wide. Just a little bit off goal there. That was a, you know, a real good drive to the goal. He just 
kind of didn't have a big enough angle. Syracuse 31 and 10 in NCAA play. That's a record. 756 Carolina's percentage. Got to do something to get the ball down to their offensive end of the field, Steve. It's all over for them. Time certainly hindering the heels. Kavovit fires and scores. Kavovit with his fifth goal here this afternoon. Kavovit having, having a big day. He's out on the wing and uh, just took his defender one on one. No slide came from the Carolina defense. Uncharacteristically, they've been good all day long with their team defense and their slides. Nobody slid to pick him up after the defender was beat. He just one on one with the goal. Five goals here today, 38 on the season. The team lead for Syracuse. Rob Kavovic just turned 21 on May 3rd. The junior, he'll be back another year. So he'll uh, be around for the rest of this tournament to lead the Orangemen. We have a six goal lead, 17. Test one, two. And physical play. Again, there's two flags down, which to me would indicate two penalties. Uh, they're delayed penalties to give uh, Syracuse an opportunity oh. to go to the goal here. And Matt Alexander has the ball knocked away by Pete Murphy, and we got a stoppage. Well, Syracuse is definitely going to be in a man up situation here when we come back to play. Well, we have a man down on the field. With a break in the action, 3.09 left, 17.11 Syracuse. Let's take a timeout. We'll be back with more right after this. Back to action in front, taken away by John Fox. Jason Wade left the field. I don't think we'll see him again today. The fine midi for the Tar Heels. The shot and the score. The long stick the defenseman scoring for Carolina. And scoring a short handed goal. John Fox. Carolina was down a man as we started play here. A uh, 30 second penalty assessed against them for holding. They uh, did a good job there getting possession of the ball by their man down team. He went the length of the field. 17 12. It's still not enough time, you would think, with 251 remaining for Carolina to overcome this Syracuse advantage in this high scoring affair. I've seen some crazy things happen now, Steve. You never know. It's not over till it's over. Syracuse. Defeated Carolina 13-12 in the 1993 NCAA championship game. The last time these two teams met was the season opener in 1994 up at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse, New York, where Syracuse also won 17-10. They could take a 17-10, excuse me, a 10-7 lead in the series with a victory here today. Okay, Carolina does a good job of getting possession of the faceoff there. And they can't waste a whole lot of time here. They've got to go to the net. The thing that's going to hurt them is they don't have Jason Wade to put on the field. Low shot off the net. And the shot by Justin Bowman. 2.28 to go. 17-12. Carey 